Hey what's up everybody Mike back with another video. So ViewSonic aren't really a company that I personally associate with making too many good portable projectors. In fact the only one that actually comes to my mind right now is probably the PLED W800 which was released back in early 2015. I think. It had a WXGA resolution and it kind of had everything that 2015 bought with it in terms of portable projectors. Skip ahead three years and we come to this. This is the ViewSonic M1. It's probably the best designed portable projector that I've actually seen this year. Not only that, it's got features like USB Type-C, it can actually be charged on the go and the speakers on this thing are fantastic. So let's get started. <laughs> So let's start off with price. Now the ViewSonic M1 is not the cheapest 480p projector out there. Typically most of them tend to cost about £200 at least on Amazon UK. There's plenty of reviews for it considering it's a new product and mainly praising the image quality and the audio quality and of course the build quality. Now in terms of what you're actually getting physically, let's run through the specs first. It has a native 480p resolution or WVGA, brightness of 250 NSI lumens, you can get a 100 inch screen from around 2.5 metres back so it makes it a short throw projector, dynamic contrast ratio of 120,000 to 1, keystone correction standard 40 degrees throw ratio 1.2 and honestly this thing considering what is packing comes in under two pounds and it also has two three watt speakers their speakers supplied by Harman Kardon so you can actually expect better than average audio quality so we'll take a look at that later on in the video so starting off with a very quick unboxing on the ViewSonic M1. Remove the lid and you're greeted by the instruction manual. That's not so much an instruction manual but a folded piece of paper. But it's got all the support numbers depending on where you are in the world. Flip that over and you're greeted by a nicely thought out diagram. It gives you an overview of the product. ViewSonic also include this wool-like material carry pouch with the M1 which I've got to say looks really classy and it does have a nice feel about it. It's always nice to have one included. On the bottom of the box, Box, you'll see another compartment now if you were to lift that up you'll be greeted by all of the accessories that come with the M1 this includes the power cable now this will vary depending on where you are in the world you also get a double-ended USB type C cable and it does look like it's a good quality cable the power brick itself is also included and finally you get the remote control the remote control has got this rubber like texture and it's pretty much the same with most portable projectors so that about wraps it up for everything that's inside the box I have to admit that the ViewSonic M1 has got a very striking design. It's got this uh, grey mesh-like plastic material and it really does look pretty damn smart and the weight of this device is actually not as heavy as I actually thought and honestly if you look at the build quality that, that chunky very chunky built-in kickstand if you will it also acts as a lens kind of cover and it will automatically shut down the projector with it covering the lens moving around to the side you'll see in the machined aluminium there is some kind of square brick-like design pattern venting going on and if you have a look at the front of the lens you'll see that you've got your normal IR sensor but there's a secondary sensor built in to the front panel so if you just swipe your finger across or if you happen to walk past it you'll see that the projector will automatically turn off and it will stop it in you know emitting kind of those harmful rays into your eyes so yeah again a feature that we actually saw on the Xiaomi laser projector Flicking around to the other side, you'll see a pretty well-made focus wheel, and honestly, this thing is pin-sharp and very easy to focus. Coming around to the rear, you'll see uh, another cutout with this brick design, and you'll see that that is where the fan is, and you've got your battery indicator level with four LED or five LEDs, and again, this will show you how much kind of battery life you've got. On the base of the projector, again, this kind of uh, plastic mesh material carries on, and there is a quarter-inch thread to mount it to a tripod. So if you go ahead and pull on the little ViewSonic tab, you'll expose all of the inputs. Now, I like everything about this design and it's very slick, very minimalistic. And except for the fact that the hinges on this thing are like two pieces of rubber with like a narrow tip, which kind of slots into the body. When you pull on that tab, sometimes that actually separates and you have to spend ages poking it all back in. You've got a full size USB, you've got a full size HDMI, slot for a micro SD card, you've got your OGS or headphone input, and we also have USB type C which is one of the features that separates it from other portable 480p projectors you can charge and actually use the projector at the same time perfect 
So another area where the ViewSonic M1 actually exceeds other 480p projectors is in the actual menus and the overall user experience. On your main settings page, you'll see your HDMI, well, basically your source, and then you've got access to independent wallpapers, because let's face it, honestly, this can be used in an office environment, a school, or maybe just for home entertainment, and you can download your own kind of wallpapers if you choose to. So it just adds a little bit more friendliness to the experience. Going into the actual settings menu, this is where this projector is completely completely different than the likes of something like the H96P. Under image settings you've got access to other options that you will not have on cheap Chinese 480p projectors and under the display mode you can see this is the bright mode, this is the standard mode, it's got a theatre mode and you've even got a music mode, I'm not entirely sure what that is about but other than that you've got your aspect ratio which you can change, you've got your vertical keystone correction and honestly you can even independently adjust certain colour aspects of this projector. Under the audio mode you've also got different Harman Kardon sound profiles which are great and you can even balance the speaker I've got mine on instrumental because I was there uh listening to music. Moving down onto the light source you can see this is full brightness and again the room is not dark and if you put it into eco mode it'll look like this and battery saving mode obviously will do battery saving. Honestly what this projector can actually do even I wasn't prepared for it so this is about four o'clock in the afternoon I've got the blinds closed a little bit and if the curtains are still open as you can see there's plenty of light still in the room and this projector with this higher contrast ratio of something ridiculous like a hundred thousand Plus, this thing really does deliver an experience that is actually so much more than 480p. Of course, animation will look good, so if you're just buying this as a small portable projector for the kids, then this is what it'll look like for that purpose. But that is not just to say that this thing can be adjusted for other needs like watching normal daytime TV or even watching a movie. So this is running through my Virgin Media set-top box and the main point I'm trying to make here is with that higher contrast ratio without even putting it into the bright mode this is the kind of image quality that you guys can actually expect. Putting it into bright mode obviously will improve it but leaving it in the standard kind of eco lamp mode and leaving the colour profile as I've got it set up looks really good. You've seen exactly how it performs in a room with some fair amount of ambient light and this is how it looks in a dark room or a dark environment. I hooked it up to my Galaxy Note 8 and honestly the experience and the first thing that I actually noticed was first how sharp the image was and secondly the evenness of the actual colour and the reproduction of that colour was really really good and again this is down to the higher contrast ratio and the actual build quality of the internal Osram LED and this projector really does do well. The connection while I was playing some games from my smartphone through the projector it was absolutely rock solid no issues at all with kind of drop connection I played for about 20 minutes now I didn't actually do a full-on sound audio test or fan noise test but it came in around the 30s to 34 which isn't fantastic but it's not poor either the video quality while I was even streaming was absolutely superb now when I say superb I mean for a 480p projector because this is not a typical 480p projector this has actually been designed by uh, more of a mainstream manufacturer and you know the colors and the image quality really does show yes there is a bit of motion blur in some kind of scenes but again that is true for most projectors there doesn't seem to be over the top in terms of kind of rainbow effect now I don't actually see rainbow effect very often but I did see a little bit while I was uh, playing on some of the games so I thought I'd just lay that out there. In terms of overall video quality so this is Marquez playing his or doing his thing and honestly the sharpness and the detail really does look good again keep reiterating this it is a 480p projector but it can be mistaken for a 720p and again here you go just to show you guys the actual built-in quality and the sound quality you can see the uh, white output of the projector is nowhere near you know correct compared to what my phone is doing but overall picture quality is absolutely superb if you look at the greens if you look at the reds it looks pretty damn solid so there you have it guys, the ViewSonic M1, a beautifully designed portable projector that really does deliver a crisp, sharp image and the contrast ratio compared to other 480p projectors, this thing is absolutely miles ahead. In terms of the connectivity, it was rock solid and I really do like that built-in kickstand. ViewSonic have done an absolutely fantastic job with the M1. So if you're looking for a portable projector, then definitely go ahead and check this one out. I think on Prime Day, this thing really did drop down in price. And if you've got any questions, then feel free to leave them in the comment section. My name is Mike, and this is Tech404. Thank you for watching.